today I'm going to be doing a book review on Ask Elizabeth by Elizabeth Berkeley. If you don't know, Elizabeth Berkeley played um, Jessie on Saved by the Bell. Um, I'm a huge fan of Saved by the Bell, so I really was interested to read this book. Um, so what is it about? This is basically a girl... I mean, it doesn't have to be for girls, actually. It's just a, a teen survival guide. Um, all the... It is written from all girls' perspective, but I think boys could totally take some of the advice that's in here. So it covers a lot of subjects from breakups to body confidence to um, dealing with death, and it's all told um, from different girls' perspectives. Elizabeth holds different workshops across the country, at schools and different things like that, and um, she gets girls to ask questions and give advice and um, take information from them and she's basically put it into this huge survival guide I don't know if you can tell how big this book really is but it's huge so it's not only got um, like advice and anecdotes from girls it's got Elizabeth's own experiences and also some um, actual expert um, opinions um, she also has a website um, I think it's just askelizabeth.com um, yep which is the same sort of concept as this book and there's a lot of like links and stuff um, which are also in the back of this book so I'll just show you a couple of pages of what it's like in the book as you can see it's very much in a scrapbook style these are like little places where she has written in her own thoughts um, it's just all very pieced together it's a very quick read, I read it I think in about a couple of days um, yeah one thing I did find um, I felt like Elizabeth should have had one font that stipulated it was her talking because she did have those little pink um, writing bits but also there was actual bits of text and sometimes it was hard to tell if it was her talking or it was someone else talking and I felt like she needed one font that we could go, yep, we know exactly who's speaking there um, because there is just so many fonts used in this book that it can be slightly overwhelming in a way. Um, as you can see there's just tons and tons of different fonts and she just needed one that would be easily recognisable. So overall I want to say this is a really great book. I think though I would have benefited from it more if I was still at school. So if you're still in school, if you're in middle school, going into high school, this is a great book for you. It goes on topics of boys, bullies, all that sort of thing. Um, just dealing with the pressures of being a teenager because at the end of the day it's stressful. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I would have benefited from it more if I was younger because some of the things I couldn't really see myself applying. Some of the things I could look back on and think, yeah, that's happened to me or I managed to deal with that, like bullies. I never, I was lucky that I never experienced real bullying. Um, there was just one incident that I can remember. Um, girls made fun of my curly hair while we were doing a fire drill and I could hear the snickering but I, I didn't turn around, I didn't acknowledge them, I didn't say anything back to them, I just let it slide and just got on with it. I didn't wear my hair curly like that for quite a while I must say. just wanted to make a point to them that it didn't, it wasn't going to affect me, it wasn't going to be a lifelong thing that I was going to worry about and they never said anything mean to me again and I was actually pretty, like not good friends but like we got on well in class together by the end of it so I just always, I've always tried to put on this front that just don't mess with me basically and I think people sort of, I don't know, this might all just be in my head and I was just lucky not to get any bullying at school but I always put on this thing that um, I would never tolerate anyone bullying me and I would always stick up for myself um, so I don't know, maybe bullies just thought yeah we can't get away with it with Sophie, I don't know but um I know that bullying is a huge thing and there are some really great tips in here. One thing I could relate to is the breakup side of things and the boyfriend situations that they talk about um, and it's definitely some advice that I can um, take on with me in future relationships and basic one thing that really struck me is like if you're not completely happy in a a relationship you shouldn't settle just because someone's giving you attention and giving you affection um, you should never settle um, that means you, you have got to be slightly realistic in what you're looking for you can't have Prince Charming but why 
why should you sell for anything less really another thing they touch on death and losing members of your family and how to deal with it um, I think that is really helpful for people going through that um, I lost my nan last year and that was sort of the first death that was very immediate and close in our family. Everyone grieves in a different way. My experience is very different from my mum's experience and my mum's experience um, handling with it is very different from her sister's. So um, there is no one way to really deal with death and I think this really shows that um, because you've got all the anecdotes from people. And this book basically it shows you that what you're feeling and what you're thinking other people are as well. You're not alone in what you're feeling um, and this, overall, I would really recommend this book. I think I'd give it four stars out of Goodreads. Um, but that's purely because I just, I didn't need all the advice that was in it. But I think if you are a younger teenager, like I say, middle school, high school, I mean, I would even give this to my child as a present. Um, because I think it's a really great book that you could give maybe a sister or a niece or a daughter. Um, that they could flick through it because being a teenager is a really tough time. So I find the scrapbook, the scrapbook layout of it is a really novel idea and makes it really quite quick to read but again the fonts were a little bit of an issue for me because some of them I found them hard to read and I would skim read through stories because it just I found it too hard to concentrate on trying to read through the, the different fonts um, yeah, that shouldn't be a reason why you don't read the book. I think overall it is a really great book. Um, and I think Elizabeth is doing a lot of great work with um, girls and teenagers. Um, on the back, actually, I'm just looking, there is um, some really great recommendations. One from Jennifer Gardner, one from Cameron Diaz, one from Fergie, one from Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> so it's a really well-supported book, and I feel that it needs to be a staple in every girl's, um, every young teenager's life because it's it's a great sort of survival guide at the end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed that book review. I know I rambled on quite a bit and I don't know how I'm going to edit this in post-production. Um, but yeah, if this video is on YouTube then I managed to figure it out somehow. Um, I will write a corresponding blog post for this which I will link below. Um, so maybe my thoughts there might be a bit more um, condensed and easier to process than what I've just spewed out right now. As always, all my links are below. Check out my Goodreads for what I am currently reading because um, some of these videos go up like one or two weeks later than um, I actually film them. So if you want to know what I'm reading at this exact moment, then head on over to my Goodreads page. And until my next video, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.